because it's this is the epitome of what they think California is. Well, this right here is the mecca. Like this is where you see this in San Diego is what everybody thinks all of California they is. They haven't visited South LA yet. Yeah, yeah, but Ben, it's like look at this, like this. I had guys. I grew up in Connecticut, right? Or went to high school in Connecticut. And well, I, but I born in Alaska, raised in Vegas, and then I went to yeah, exactly. What a weird. So I get, I get, I know. So I get, I get. All makes sense now. I know, right? Woo! <laughs> so I get guys from high school that are like, "Hey, I'm coming to California. Can you come pick me up?" And I'm in Northern California at this point, East Bay, near San Francisco, by about an hour. Okay. And I'm like, dude, that'd be great. Did it? Well, we can. Hang. And I go, wait a second, where are you flying into? And he goes, LAX. Yeah, yeah. And I was I'm like, I was like, hours. I'm not fucking. That's like seven hours yeah, in there. I was like, it's another flight. And he goes, come on, man. Right? And seven I go hours. like this. I go, would you pick me up in Virginia or DC? And he goes, fuck no. And I said, same, same, man. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. The day of moms. My mom lives. My, I called my mom early today. My brother's there, like asshole. You gotta make a thirty-second call. I'm over here, fucking hanging <laughs> my mom. I moved. Yeah. What do you want from me? It's your fault. What do you want from me? You guys chased me out. <laughs> I still love you, mom. Yeah, I love you, but I'm sick of you. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. My sister's in Hawaii teaching yoga. Oh really? What are you doing? You filming? No, not at all. <laughs> I love it, dude. Hey, hey. It's the Bearded Wonder Show. Um, yeah, I, everything that basically I start to do now, it's like it's sad because I go places and I'm like, oh, throw it on my YouTube. What do you say, sag? You're, you're sag? Well, I am sag. I'm sag. I've been sag 22 years, okay. dude. So I get my first sag card tomorrow night. Do you really? 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. in Pasadena. I'm a bar patron, but I get a sag card. So that's step one. Wait, wait, wait. Is it your sag card sag or a voucher? voucher. voucher. Yeah, a voucher. Sag voucher. You need three. So I yeah. need three vouchers to join. That's what it used to be. I don't but know. But what he's telling me is like... What is he telling you, Ben? He's telling ben, me... Ben, what is he telling you? You don't need three vouchers. Wait, no, no, no. Okay, wait. Okay, cut. Okay, back to one. Ben Kalana, back to rolling for sag <laughs> card number one. 29. What day is it? It's Sunday. Yeah, but the 5-14-2017. 5 2017 Going for his ben first Kalana. sag voucher. Mother's Day, baby. Mother's Day. Day. What was I? We got to do this again. Here we go. Look at this, man. This is like... This is right at the pier. This is not even the boardwalk, and it's crazy. <laughs> like, people, this is tourist season starting right now. Oh, yeah, it's dumb. Bikini season. Yeah, bikini, well, bikini season, but as soon as it's sunny like this. And his speech is no, out. Sorry, you're being. You're, oh, your speech oh, is oh, yeah. Is that live, like, uh, yeah. Instagram or something? It's, it's, we're it's, streaming. It's the bearded, live, <laughs> live bearded show. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What's your name? Casey. 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 So, anyway. TJ or Tim. This guy That's tells me. me I can get a sack voucher. Okay, wait. But he says you can't. Okay, okay, cut. Back to one. Ben Colada, <laughs> Mother's Day 2017, live from SAG Voucher. He says with this SAG Voucher, he can skip the process and basically push me through to SAG. I'm like, how does that happen? He goes, you're going to get your SAG Voucher and then... If uh, okay, first do, of all, first of all, who are you going through? I don't know the production okay, company. Okay, because a lot of people will try to sell you the fact that they'll push you through stuff and it's well, bullshit. I went to a production that was on set for an no, I understand. FBI agent, I, I, eight I, hours, I, 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 promised me a sack card, didn't I, I, give me a sack card. I understand that, but what I'm saying is when when people try to say it's easier to do it and do it this way, a lot of times they're they're bullshitting you and, you know, so just just watch. It's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying watch yourself. So. Hey, Spirit of Guys Spirit Series. <laughs> yourself with getting involved with any union. That's right, because because it's because it's a guild when when they uh, go to fight for you, but it's a union when they want you to pay dues. Uh, watch out for Herbalife. Isn't it? SAG? Screen Actors Guild, but it, they say union strong. I've been 22 years in SAG. They fought for me one time, but when I miss a payment, they're a union. When they go to fight for you, ah, 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 we're a guild. Pyramid scheme. How many fucking, how, how much double speak is in there? Yeah. Is that bad? Was that negative? Welcome to America. That's my own union. I'm, I'm bastardizing, blasphemizing my own union. It's the first union I actually joined that I, I basically stayed and started to support. But they're... It's pretty legit. I mean, you, get a lot of it doesn't go you don't, though. It's not, it's, it's different. I feel like you're the you're guaranteed a set base off of your work. You're not guaranteed work. Every other union has a union hall that you go into. The, the one, one union that is actually the strongest union here in 
the LA area? Teamsters. Teamsters. And it's because they actually, Teamsters are the trucking ones that basically like, what's his name, Hoffa was connected to. And supposedly there's there's like mafia involvement, blah, blah, blah. And, the, and I think they're somehow connected to like shippers, like longshoremen. But here in LA, they will shut a production down because their transportation. Every trailer that, you know, the Star Wagons, they're transported by Teamsters. If you get dropped off uh, or picked up at a location on set, the van is a Teamster. So they will go like this. SAG after, uh, I'm sorry, SAG, WGA, and the Directors Guild went in a couple years ago to striking, and they struck for like a month or two months or something like that. Lost millions of dollars. Teamsters, they settled before that a week before they were going to the table for negotiations because that's how readily they can shut this town down. It's an amazing thing because it's like you would think like, well, it's one union because I'm just babbling. And I'm not, and it's not focused on anybody. I'm just basically, it's actually focused on Griff. Like I'm talking, but it's focused on him. Um, but it's just interesting because it's, I try to get the videos over. There's something to do with an 11 minute video that will get ranked, even if your ranking isn't as high as somebody else, it'll get pushed because it's something to make. It's, I don't know why, Cootie Pie I was talking about, where it's like 11 minutes for some reason, they, they, and I think it has to do with it's in their best interest. Well, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on... I mean, like, what are you referring to? Oh, it's for YouTube. Um, I just have a channel, and it's like, I basically do mostly vlog stuff, and I was out with my cousin, and so we had some beers, so I just started... Bleh. And the thing is, like, I do smaller amount for the videos, but for some reason, the 11 minute ones, I think, have some sort of, because they get more money if you get more viewer time, because it's ad revenue. So they'll push stuff that has a little longer content in your ranking. Like, if somebody has a higher ranking than you, but it's only like a two minute, five minute video, and yours is 11 minute above, they'll put yours above it in the ranking system because it's, and I think it's because of their own ad revenue. Uh-oh. You're kind of the bearded wonder too. Uh, I'm, I'm, I actually go sometimes, but I'm not that great at like trimming it, so I can't let it go too crazy. This is like two years. Really? But I, I, yeah, I've trimmed the shit out of it. What do you, how do you trim? Do you just do the clippers? Wall clippers. What's that? Wall clippers, W-A-H-L. Yeah, yeah, that's what I have. But do you just do, uh, you just run it like, like. Get, get the attachments. Oh, really? I have nine attachments. You know what I do is I, I don't even use the attachment. I just like kind of free, free. Uh, I've tried that. And one time I slipped and I had a patch right here. Like and I was, no, I was combing over, I was combing over my beard. No, you gotta stay hands. And I heard like. <laughs> Well, I would say the the fluff it though gets it where you can get uh, it's easier to trim if you fluff it. Yeah. Because it, when it's matted or not matted, but when it's like this, you when you're doing it, it's better to have the attachments because they they have like a comb in them. Yeah. And then they have like a a one through nine. That's what I have. Like a zero through zero is your non-attachment, and then the top one I have is a nine. And so it's basically just like zipping through it. You live around there? I live in the marina. I live on a boat. Nice. Yeah, I work in real estate and I live on a boat. Do you take it anyway? No, because I'm still in the process of refurbing it. Oh, okay. But she runs. Like, take that shit down to like. Oh, yeah. Mama. Well, I got to tell you, this, this is the deal. I worked on a TV show, pilot. What was this, 2007? Almost 10 years ago. And they tell us to show up at Marina Del Rey, and I was surfing, right? It was when I was surfing, like, on, on a regular basis. And I was like, Marina Del Rey? And they're like, yeah, well, they're taking a boat out, and they're going to take it to the spot that basically is location. So I'm thinking, we're going out, we're going either Playa, 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 Vista, or Playa Del Rey, or we're going up to Santa Monica to Malibu or something. We come right around the bend here, and they drop anchor, and I'm like... Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, Kevin Smith was on it, oh, and nice. uh, so after that, you're like, I need to get it. Back. No, what happened was I was like, well, maybe Marina Del Rey has some enough scrap, so I started looking for. Well, how much is your rent? Uh, well, I'm a full live aboard, above board, acknowledged. So it's basically it's almost like a thousand. That's not. That's nothing. Not for this area, but I'm all, I'm still living on a boat. It's like living in a trailer, so to speak, because. 
because you're confined to you can only have a certain amount of shit on your oh, okay. it's just it, dude it's a small you can't take two huge shits a day you can but you gotta do it up top <laughs> you can't do it on your boat yeah and if you bring a girl like I, I reserve my head for females because literally oh, yeah because yeah, it's like they can't wake up and get dressed and shoes and everything and get up to the top of the dock as readily as a dude can. And a dude can pee in a bottle and a girl can't. But the head is... is that what you do? Like, well, you, know, you can. Yeah. I mean, let's put it this way. A lot of mornings, you're like, you have a... How much did you buy those for? Uh, six grand. What? That's it? Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's my, but mine has an inboard engine and that's why it costs so much and it's a sailboat. So you... And it's a 70s. Anything like in the 70s, you're getting... Oh, you Jeep's buddy. <laughs> I'm not Wait, so Jeeves, buddy. He's in Thailand now. He's living in Thailand. Buy like a Jeeves, an interesting dude. Did you buy like a fixed uh, rubber or what? It kind of, but it was it's it's a it's a '34 Cal Jensen. What did you guys just do? That's all caught on camera, you know, CIA. <laughs> well, I do work for him, but 1106. Uh, they like me, even though I'm a criminal. That's Tom Brady's illegitimate child. <laughs> No, actually, I did make all my money by selling myself for the CIA. But they also do not. I don't know what that means. Which they don't like. Why? Because it's cigarettes? No, no, drugs. No, that's drugs. No, no, that's drug, just That's just drug drugs. Oh, oh. Okay. Drug. Okay, say that, say that again. <laughs> no, no. You can turn it in where you want. I do a lot of drugs. They already know. Hallucinogenics? Oh yeah. You're fucking tall, dude. What I are you, 6'6"? Six, six? I'm psilocybin, my man. Six, Not even close. Taller. Way taller. 6'8". Six, 6'11". Six, are you really? You're like 6'12", almost. Because <laughs> I watched you... Cigarette, as we, yeah, good. As we, as we were... No, you. No, we were talking... No, no, no. I, I quit smoking. Come on. Come on I know. I know. Who the fuck are you trying to take care of your goddamn life as a sentient being on this 26,000 a How old are you? 24. Yeah, that's why. When I was 24... I gave two rats asses about nothing. And guess what? I'm going to be 50 in two months, and guess what you start to look at? Like I said, I just lost a laptop with the cell phone. I know, I know, and that's monetary, but when you lose health, no, no but it's, it's, it's tangible assets. And what I'm saying is this. When you lose something that, and why am I, I'm, I feel like I'm your dad. <laughs> no, you're right, actually. What I'm you saying, were saying enough sense this is what, shut up in my head. Well, this is what, it, this is what I personally came into... No, you're saying with some wisdom. And yeah, and what it comes down to, and this is the difference of 25 years, is I'm I'm two-thirds to three-quarters of my life done. I've got maybe another 25 years, 30 years top end, kind of whatever, but at 24, I was fucking bl doing blow, fucking, we'd, we'd close down a bar, roll in and open the bar at 6 a.m. for Bloody Marys, blah, 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 blah. Who did? So what I'm saying is this, there's a certain point when you abuse your body because that's technically what that is that you can't you can't turn that is what that yeah. is well I'm just trying to I'm trying to soft sell it I, I'm being facetious yeah, and I get, I get it yeah. yeah what I'm saying though is you're not going to be able to turn around from it and so what's his name Michael um, um, George Michaels was only three years older than me and he just died I'm literally and that's, trying to kill myself through a bun exactly <laughs> but I think I got 20 years Live fast, I, I die that, young, on, and have a good-looking corpse. These are American spirits. Right? Live fast, die young, These are and have a good-looking corpse. <laughs> you know the worst thing you ever have to me? Young a woman. A woman. I made money young. The worst thing you ever have to me. Why is that the worst? Because you got Dude, spoiled? No, no, uh, no. I made a lot of money when I was young. Right. That's partially why I'm so worried about my our friend who stole my backpack. Get something they don't want when they open it. But is that what it hit? No, it's. It, I do software at the CIA, and in the minute they open that shit, they're fucked. It's because you've got yeah, a La Paz hat. Happens, they're gonna think someone was tracking. Griff. Who's the lemon? And they're gonna end up so much trouble. I, I literally would rather give them four grand, which is what my laptop's worth. I'm gonna so text this to you later. Hey, money. signing off from uh, Venice Pier. Uh, this is Mother's Day and down in Venice. Soon. <laughs>